While President Rodrigo Roa Duterte is in Russia for an official visit, he declared martial law in Mindanao on May 23, as series of attacks from terrorists and extremists occurred in the island. The areas of Basilan, Sulu and Tawi-Tawi are included in the declaration. To find out the situation in Mindanao, the President has cut short his visit in Russia. That was of 10 p.m. Manila time, he has already declared martial law for the entire island of Mindanao. After martial law has been declared, within 48 hours, the President needs to submit a report in Congress, either personal or written. It is stated in our Constitution that martial law and the suspension of writ of habeas corpus is effective only within 60 days. The extension is up to the Congress decision. Martial law can be negated by the majority of votes in Congress. The Supreme Court can also question and decide on the declaration of martial law within 30 days. President Duterte's declaration of martial law in Mindanao aims to protect the residents who are being ruthlessly killed by local terrorists. The proclamation of martial law in Mindanao also aims to eliminate the fear of the Filipinos that the chaos in Mindanao is spreading throughout the country.